So I'm getting ready to build a frame or two, probably just one. I really only need one right now. And I've done so many different frames um, throughout the years. Uh, I did one like this. I did one where it's angled. Put the groove in here. You attach the, the wire here. I've done one where it's a one piece. The painting goes in here. This is a 45 here. You attach here. So this, this is one I was thinking about. But then I decided, why don't I double it? So do two layers, two different species. So maybe a light wood, a dark wood, or a cherry and a maple. And in this case, I'll leave enough space here that the painting can go in here, can over, be overlapped a little bit. I can screw in here so the wire will hang. There's going to be three quarters of an inch here. So this one, if I keep this short, will hang tight against the wall. So that'll be a little bit different, whereas these, the top typically hangs out some because of the way you fasten the wire in. So this is going to be a little different. I always like to do something different because it's a little make, it makes it a little bit more interesting. So that's the concept that came in my mind this morning. I've been thinking about this off and on for couple weeks I knew I was going to do this for a gift so I'm going to now look around the shop which will be a task in itself because a lot of my lumber has tons of sawdust on so I need to put my dust mask on right away I know I got some cherry over here so that may be at least one of the layers and then over there I got some longer boards but I really only need 18 by 24 inch frame so it's definitely going to be hardwood, um, but I really don't want to cut into some long boards. But then again, 18 by 24, when you have four pieces and you have the overhangs, it ends up being quite a bit of lumber, especially if I go wide. So I should have looked at the wall where it's going to hang, but if I remember correctly, there was quite a bit of room there. So there's an interesting board right there. I think that might be a red elm. Um, and I'm not even sure what all's in here, but so I'm going to get my dust mask on and then I'm going to start forging through the hardwoods here and pick something out that's going to be long enough. I'm going to have to get my ruler. And if you're going 18 by 24, you really need each side is going to be at least six inches longer than what it sounds like. So you have to add on. Okay, let's get looking and see what we come up with. <laughs> 